They're all whispering, and I just know it's about her. What's it matter what they say in pity? But yeah. Scarlett is living under my roof, so they all think I'm responsible for her. And for a widow to appear in public at a social gathering, every time I think of it, I feel faint. But, Aunt Peter, you know Scarlett came here only to help raise money for the cause. It was splendid of her to make the sacrifice. Anyone would think to hear you talk that she came here to dance instead of to sell things. Ladies and gentlemen, I have important news, glorious news. Another triumph for our magnificent men in arms. General Lee has completely whipped the enemy and swept the Yankee army northward from Virginia. Yeah! And now, a happy surprise for all of us. We have with us tonight that most daring of all blockade runners, whose fleet schooners slipping past the Yankee guns have brought us here the very woolens and laces we wear tonight. I refer, ladies and gentlemen, to that will-o'-the-wisp for the bounding main. None other than our friend from Charleston, Captain Rhett Butler. Pleasure to see you again. I met you last at my husband's home. That's kind of you to remember, Mrs. Welch. Uh, did you meet Captain Butler at 12 Oak, Scarlet? Yes, I... I think so. Only for a moment, Mrs. Hamilton. It was in the library. You, uh, had broken something. Yes, Captain Butler. I remember you. Ladies, the Confederacy asked for your jewelry on behalf of our noble cause. We aren't wearing any. We're in mourning. Wait. On behalf of Mrs. Wilkes and Mrs. Hamilton. Thank you, Captain Butler. Just a moment, please. But it's your wedding ring, ma'am. It may help my husband more. Off my finger. Thank you. It was a very beautiful thing to do, Mrs. Wilkes. Here. You can have mine, too. For the cause. And you, Mrs. Hamilton. I know just how much that means to you. Melanie. Yes, Doctor. I need your approval as a member of the committee for something we want to do that's rather shocking. Will you excuse us, please? I'll say one thing. The war makes the most peculiar widow. I wish you'd go away. If it hadn't been raising, you'd know I'd never want to see you again. Now, why be silly? You've no reason for hating me. I'll carry your guilty secret to my grave. Oh, I guess I'd be very unpatriotic to hate one of the great heroes of the war. I do declare I was surprised that you turn out to be such a noble character. I can't bear to take advantage of your little girl ideas, Miss O'Hara. I am neither noble nor heroic. But you are a blockade runner. For profit, and profit only. Are you trying to tell me you don't believe in the cause? I believe in Rhett Butler. He's the only cause I know. The rest doesn't mean much to me. <laughs> <laughs> 